Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for the 8th to the 14th of August 2022. I'm using the Super Lunaris and the Classic Tarot, the Oracle Messenger cards, the A Audacious uh, Action Angels Oracle and the Romance um, Oracle. You come in with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups in this card, it says to me, introspection. She's looking uh, in herself or towards herself in the mirror. Perhaps thinking, what? how do I keep in balance? How do I clear my chakras? How do I get back into balance? Also, the Two of Cups could mean that you are meeting your soulmate or that you've met your soulmate. But you've also got the Two Ones a new beginning uh, given by the cosmos or the divine and the angels, the doorway, the divine doorway. For that's what it means to me anyway. So you could be partnering up, you could have found your soulmate. This could be in business or in romance. Remember this reading is uh, for finance, work, uh, partnerships in business, um, also in life in general and romance. There could have been a delay um, um, because you've got the hanged man. There could have been a delay that you realized that you were with your soulmate or that you had found your soulmate. There could have been a delay in meeting up with the person you've just met. And now that you've met or going to meet them, you will know that they are your soulmate. You'll get a different perspective on somebody. This could be on an ordinary friendship that has turned into a relationship. Oh, wow, that is magic. The hanged man means there could have been delays from four hours to four months, in some cases four years. Perhaps you might have met somebody when you were younger four years ago or when you were four years old and you were in the kindergarten and you've met up again and now you realize that you were soulmates or are soulmates. It doesn't have to be a partner for life in romance or in business. It can be a friend a best friend for life. You feel just like two peas in a pod. Aquarius, you've also got the Eight of Wands. You will be in your power, if not at the beginning of the week, definitely at the end of the week, because you've got so many cards about balance, about introspection, taking time out. Just let me explain. First of all, things are going to happen very, very fast, um, and it's not going to rain, it's going to pour. You could be traveling for work or you could be going on holiday or a short break as that is what the Eight of Wands represent. News could be coming through cyber, email, text message or telephone call. This could be that you are with an old friend from kindergarten, got into contact on cyber, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, things like that. Now you're thinking about it. The Four of Cups means really depression or being stuck in your brain or head. Uh, sorry, uh, I do speak two languages and sometimes I don't say the right things. Sorry. So you could be depressed or you could be pondering about this new meeting up with them, your soulmate or this new perspective that you've got about a person and you, you are thinking on how and when shall we meet. There could be a delay if you haven't met each met up with each other but the divine is giving you a chance because look this is the card that you have the hand from the divine or the cosmos reaching to you giving you an offer so open up open that mind open that heart open the solar plex let the three else in love laughter and life enjoy life to the full don't sit on your laurels if you are uh, depressed about not having a job Put it out there into the cosmos and the divine. Get off your laurels. Start scratching the website, the internet for uh, jobs. Um, put it out there. Um, also put your CV out there. Be seen. Okay. So make the first step so that the divine and the cosmos can help you. But also with everything that's going to happen really fast and rapidly and all together, you'll get more than eight messages, perhaps that you've got the job or come to a job interview or I would love to meet you. If you do meet a stranger and I will stipulate this, it's important. Don't invite strange peoples to your sacred place, your home. 
meet them on mutual ground, get to know each other before you take the deep plunge in anything. Also, take time out to meditate, contemplate and evaluate so that you are not, that you are seeing what is happening okay you've got two fours here so that is a double number also family protect your family um, also family is important there could be celebrations there could be wedding there could be promotions wage rises there could be engagements marriage expanding the family by being pregnant you could find out you're pregnant also if you are too mature to get pregnant you could be hearing of a birth this could be of a child, this could be of a, a project, this could be a new pit that's coming in to the family. Perhaps you're thinking about uh, buying a new dog or a new cat or a new pet. You could be receiving money through the family. You could be get, getting a gift of money like for a wedding present or a, perhaps the, a grandfather or a grandmother might have set up a trust. In the olden days, it was a big honor to start off uh, the bank account with, let's say, five dollars or five euros uh, and give it as a um, christening present to the parents. Family is definitely important. Nowadays, you can't set up an account anymore because you need a passport and you need ID. Well, you don't know what the ID will be for a newborn baby. But definitely, um, in some ways, Times haven't changed for the better, um, but family is still important. Remember, you protect your family, they protect you. Uh, there is something coming to completion, and where there is a completion, as 10 is completion, 10 of pentacles, and in this case, there will be a new beginning. Trying to keep the balance, Aquarius, means um, look after yourself. You might want to balance your heart, your mind, and your um, body or trying to balance between work and the home front family is really important spending quality time with family you could be moving home you finally you got that loan or you got that pay rise in order to get that loan or you could have found a job that you uh, are paid more so that you can uh, buy that house and that will be a housewarming present or a christening could be um, also a celebration or just for fun, getting together with family and friends and have a barbecue in the beautiful weather. You've also got the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles means that you could be receiving a gift. This could be materially, monetarily, or it could be um, physically like a listening ear, a helping hand. If from you could give, get this from somebody that's more fortunate than you, if the roles are exchanged, then perhaps you could be giving money or a listening ear or a helping hand to the less fortunate. Could be somebody within the family, as we've got the family card here, and this, this also means inheritance. So definitely money from within the family could come your way. Also, we've got the Ace of Wands. That means new growth, uh, new things are sprouting out. Could be more than just one. Um, also, the Ace of Wands means new passion. This could be with a person or a hobby. This could be a job that you're really passionate about and been longing to get. So action means job, work, hands on. Also being creative um, as they stand for creation. Also making a plan and being strategic and being logical and taking that plan into action. I think you will take a plan into action, find your balance as you will be doing introspection. Definitely with the Four of Cups, the Four of Swords and the Two of Cups here, looking at yourself, you might be thinking, how do other people see me? Well, work on it, get in balance and only show the good side of yourself. You might have a second chance perhaps at a job or a relationship or a partnership, but be careful. Make sure you've got all the information. This is Archangel Gabriel blowing new fresh life into the rising dead. So you, this also represents to me the phoenix rising from the ashes. Definitely a new beginning, 
could be a second chance. There might have been a delay, but don't worry too much. Try to get the balance. Now, I've got from the audacious action angels. They're all about action, so come into action. Personal property. So, personal property. Let's see what that means. This could be your heart. That's personal. Your privacy is personal. Um, sorry about that. Like I said, the personal property means privacy. That is also a personal property. Nobody should intervene in your privacy. So, see what personal property means to you. Think about that one. You are going for a group personal property you are going for great sex eating and ex exercise we see your you embodying spirit so that's what this card means and i'll read a little bit about it because i want to get these to know these cards a little bit deeper doesn't this woman look refreshed and secure she looks more like an indian goddess that's what I, I thought of also okay she's just had an amazing day and now she's having a midnight swim clearly she's taking care of herself this is someone who treats her body like a temple that reminds us of you we are talking about the emerging you who embodies spirit you are learning to honor your body as a temple and listen to its messages you are going for a healthy exchange when it comes to sex eating and exercise you see how valuable your body truly is you are making a splash in the world when you give it's give it it's because you choose to not because you feel obliged to when you receive it is because you know you deserve all the good stuff uh, in life and that life has to offer knowing you have knowing you have authority over you is a true breakthrough remember that's what i said privacy now it's how amazing i didn't read this before i said that but your body your privacy is the temple to your soul so take care of it and it will take care of you it is um the moment in life when you realize your personal property is a very valuable piece of real estate and that's all that what the cards are saying here taking time out to think about the four of cups the four of swords also the card of introspection usually you see two people um, with sharing a chalice or a cup and this is introspection for me a picture says a thousand words this is really a great reading You've also got the chakras. I didn't sort the cards out. So it's definitely getting into balance and sorting out your priorities for number one. Then you can take care of number two, three, four in any, any case. Time to reassure, restore some balance and focus on yourself. This will bring a greater harmony to your emotions and your health and well-being. Number 26 is the eighth. And you've got eight here, so you've got two fours, two eights, the house of money and the house of power. The Romans Oracle um, is saying wedding, this situation involves a marriage. So you could be getting married, you could be getting a proposal, you could be thinking about getting married, but you need to find your balance within the relationship and within yourself. And that is the message for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this reading Aquarius, please do come out of your shell and like and share and become a member of the channel and support the channel and I hope you find that I support you with these readings. Take from them what you can and let in the three L's, love, laughter and life and enjoy it. Take care.